Good morning, everyone. This is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Welcome to today's Tuesday practical video show. I decided to do a raw, unedited version of the practical video show. Practical video show, for anybody that's new here, sorry, for anybody that's new here, is basically a show every week of which I showcase some really cool videos of practical use. I'm not so much focusing on the channel. Rather than that, I'm focusing on the actual video itself. So I'm just looking through here. Give me a minute. By the way, hope that everybody is doing well. And uh, yesterday during my 15 minutes of tea with me show, a really good practical question came up from a wonderful subscriber. And the question was, she's been living in a hotel while her home is getting renovated and it's been over a month and it's getting very, very expensive with the constant eating out or takeout or whatever is going on. And she was wondering if there's some sort of a, a frugal way to cook meals in a microwave. I presently do not own a microwave, which, you know, is not great, but I just don't own one right now. Um, my mother never wanted one and I never thought to get one. So it was just that kind of a thing. But making a long story short, uh, this is a really good question and it had me thinking. So I tried to look online, you know, to see if there was anything I tried to look on our platform. I didn't see anything that satisfied me in that area. So my tip to you or anyone in that position is work with a slow cooker. You have so many things you can do with a slow cooker. And this is what led me to a few of the videos that I picked. But the first one that I picked, I didn't do my tea um, live show yet. So I was unaware of any, you know, question like this and get a pen out or just check your, the, the description box below. And it's called, oh, this video is so cool because you're going to get four, four dump and go crock pot desserts. And the channel name is Julia Pacheco. And one of the recipes is called creamy banana cake. Yum. It looks so simple. It looks so convenient because just think like you could set this up and still do other things while you're going along. And it just looks so yummy. Creamy banana cake. Yum. And you do work with a box cake mix. So it's not like, you know, you're going berserk, you know, with so many other items. Hey, just think you could do this in the, in the hotel room too. So if you want to, you know, sort of a homemade type of treat. Um, the other recipe within the same video, which is really cool because you get four, is cobble, no, excuse me, berry cobbler, cobble berry. That's what I get for creating an unedited video at the unearthly hour, 627 a.m. <laughs> I know I look it, right? Oh my gosh, but that's okay. We all look the way we look in the morning. Um, okay, so berry cobbler which looked outrageously yummy and scrumptious and not like you have to be a rocket scientist to do the next one. Everything by the way is geared for the fall, which is really cool. And that's what we're in the midst of right now. The next one is totally, well, they all really impressed me, but the next recipe on the same very video is called pumpkin bread pudding. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. And she goes over the instructions and, the ease and the simplicity makes you like really think like, wow, this is like such a complicated thing when you look at it, but it is not. And to me, that is like showcase worthy if you happen to have guests coming over. And what I love about slow cook things is especially if you are expecting guests, because pretty much it's kind of like a set it, forget it and serve right out of it. Well, that's what I do. Usually, like if I have guests, I will make my famous meatballs that, you know, everybody seems to love and they just go for it. They just go into the slow cooker and they just, we don't even use a, a serving thing. We just, I try to keep down the uh, cleaning on that, you know, and they're very gracious about, it. they're like, I don't care. 
They're like, I don't care. I'll just go into your slow cooker. And I'll just scoop out my meatballs and I'll take across the bread and whatever salad you got. And there you go. Meal planning, just for, I want to allude for a moment with this. Meal planning does not repeat, does not have to be complicated, even if you're serving a bunch of people. Can I tell you something? Anytime I have hosted like informal dinner parties or whatever, family gatherings or whatever, I have noticed a pattern. The simplest stuff is the stuff that goes. Anytime I tried to get a little more exotic or fancy, the exotic or fancy stuff would still be sitting there because, I mean, at least in my life, the people that I know are really more like, they just want like the really good, basic, yummy stuff. So these kind of meals are the ticket. Okay, so back to that pumpkin bread. It involves using cubed up French bread. You have to check out this video, but it gets even better. Same video, okay? Um, the lady shows you how to make peanut clusters. What? That sounds really complicated, right? Uh, 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 uh. I was like bugging when I saw this. Excuse me. What you have to do is get three ingredients. One is chocolate chip, uh, regular chocolate, chocolate chips. The other one is peanut butter version, you know, peanut butter flavored chocolate chips and peanuts. And you'll see the method and you see where I'm going from there. When you see what they look like, wow, so, so scrumptious. And by the way, perfect for Halloween coming up. And by the way, my sister mentioned a really cool thing that the kids can do for Halloween. Yeah, 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 yeah. It involves, uh, let me get this right. You know those peanut butter cookies that look like the shape of a peanut? You know, you know those famous ones that look like a peanut? Okay, it's a sandwich cookie, it's a peanut butter cookie, but it's shaped like a peanut. What she likes to do with, the, with, her, grand, with her grandkids, for example, melt down white chocolate. You're gonna make little ghost cookies. Melt down some white chocolate, dip those cookies into that uh, white chocolate, and then with regular chocolate chips, use them as the eyes. Voila, ghost cookies, because the shape is so perfect for a ghost. And they're so cute, and they're so simple to do, and they're very uh, wallet friendly, and you could get the kids on it, have them dip them in and put the eyes on and so on and so forth. So I didn't want this video to go by without mentioning that. Thanks, sis. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get back to um, the slow cooker. So I'm, I'm thinking about a dear uh, fellow viewer with this, and that's why I also research a really good... You know what you're probably missing, dear? You're probably missing home cooked food and the slow cooker is really the ticket so if you could go back to your place and get it back and bring it to your place for another week and a half you'll be set for a little more longer um slow the name of this video which i'm linking up into the description box below is called slow cooked meatloaf and potatoes i have a suspicion that that is what you're missing i don't know i don't know if you eat meat i don't know if your family eats meat but i'm going to bank on the probability that the probability is yes so to be able to still have you know meatloaves are inexpensive to put together and to do it at the same time the potatoes sounds great to me and on those really busy days when you are not in the mood, I told you yesterday on my live show, and it is a true story, I'm raring to go in the morning, okay? It's uh, 6.32 a.m. real time in New York right now, Tuesday morning, okay? So when you get this video, it's fresh from the parm. Fresh, not fresh from the parm. I must have my mind on meatball parmesan. <laughs> but I get cranking really early is the point, okay? So in the afternoon... The last thing I feel like doing, let's say four or five o'clock, because I do get up really early. The last thing that I feel like doing is, oh, I got to get out the meat. I got to slap it together, the cleanup. If you do all that nasty work in the morning, and if you have good quality paper plates, you have a night that you could relax and not just keep cleaning up the whole night and wasting your whole evening. Uh, so there, I, I really do think that you should consider this. So, and by the way, the channel name for the slow cooked meatloaf and potatoes is from 
I'm not sure if it's because of my scribbling. If it's Mr. Foodie or Mr. Food Test Kitchen, doesn't matter. Linked up in the uh, description box below. Now, the last one I say for those folks that really love to organize, okay, they just feel better doing it. You know, getting ready to organize is the issue. But once you're done with it, wow, what a great feeling of accomplishment. And the one tip that I could consider mentioning to you is do everything in smaller increments if you're totally inundated. Because nothing's worse than like you're in a room that looks like a, a warehouse that, that exploded. <laughs> if you're in, you know, one of those kind of zones, no, 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 take heart. Put a timer on like I do with the tea time thing. Put a timer on. Say, you know what? Today and just today, I'm going to spend one hour in this exploded looking warehouse and try to make sense of it. Try it. That's just my tip there. Now, the name of this video, and this is in reference to closet organization, 29 organizing tips to something a messy closet. I wish I had not written this so quickly. Let me put on my glasses. 29 organizing tips to, I guess it means tackle or whatever, <laughs> messy closet. Forgive me on that one. Okay, <laughs> but you get the point. And the other point, of course, is that everything will be linked up in the description box below. So I want to thank you for coming by. I really do appreciate whose time? Your time. No music, no nothing. Just want to wish everybody a great day. And thank you so much for coming by. And I look forward to seeing everyone again real soon. Have a great day, everybody.